work at the airport here and they yep there you go here it's not out of the woods yet uh that was very close but um Just goes to show those monsoon storms can develop and get serious very quickly. It's been seven months since Falcon Field was hit by that severe weather. You saw our 12 News journalist Jade Cunningham was there with that close call while she was out reporting in September. That storm crept a little too close, says you heard her, as dozens of hangars and aircraft were all damaged by that storm. I mean, damage is an understatement. Things flipped Mm -hmm. over on its top, roof blown off. Jade joining us live this morning from Falcon Field with an update on how those cleanup efforts are going. Boy, did they have a huge cleanup in front of them. They had a huge cleanup, you're right, but you know what? I'm told that it was all done very quickly, which was very good. You know, I have worked in many markets covering a lot of weather, you know, flooding, hurricanes, tornadoes, severe thunderstorms. I tell you what, that morning I remember very vividly. I still remember it to this day, and it was definitely a top five scary moment for me. That lightning, it hit very close. Uh, It was very loud, and it was definitely a bit overwhelming. My photographer and I actually talking just a bit ago how well we remember that morning. The rain was coming down very hard at times. There was lightning, thunder, and then to just see the debris all around us, um, you know, was just, it was something that obviously we will remember for some time. This airport was hit very hard, but things again cleaned up very quickly, which a lot of the people here are very thankful for. Take a look at this video, though, because you can get kind of an idea of what they were experiencing. It shows the aftermath of it. About 40 aircraft, I'm told, were damaged by that storm. More than 115 city-owned hangars saw some sort of destruction. That includes the two original World War II hangars that were built in 1941. At least eight privately owned hangars were also damaged. Some are still in the process of being fixed. More than half, though, have completed their repairs. Work on the historic hangars also should either be wrapping up or just finished. So a lot of progress here. I spoke with the owner of Leopard Aviation, Thomas Noon. Leopard Aviation is a flight school here. They had three aircraft damage. Their building also saw some minor damage as well. It has all been fixed. They have their aircraft replaced, so things fully operational here. Officials say a supercell thunderstorm came through here, and I actually asked Noon his thoughts about what he had to what he had thought had happened. Do you think? Yeah, I think it was a tornado. They call it a microburst, but no. If you if you look at the pattern of damage across the airport, you can see it's kind of a, the, the most severe damage. Uh, uh, that, that path went right through here. So it missed our building and it missed that airplane, but it got these three and it went that way, tore all kinds of doors off of that way, and then it hit that upholstery, but that's a straight line. You go from the Warbirds building across here, it's, it's a curvy line, but it's a line. I think it was a tornado. Now he actually was flying at the time before that storm hit. He saw it approaching. He said that the plane was kind of twisting and turning with the wind. So thankfully he was okay. And thankfully there were no injuries um, during that whole ordeal. So that was definitely some great news. Now I asked him also if he was going to be doing anything different ahead of the upcoming monsoon season. He says it's so hard just because these storms, they hit so quickly. Um, But he did say he would probably try and put some of the aircraft more in a hangar for protection. Reporting live, Jay Cunningham, 12 News, today in AZ.